Hey, soldier, welcome to Pocket Ronnie. Sit down, pay attention, and conquer your fear of math. Okay, we're going to be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. These two lines right here are parallel. Um, every line on this notebook paper, these blue lines, I've traced over it with black sharpie right here. They're parallel. Parallel lines are two lines, or they could be more than two, that are on the same plane and they never intersect. This notebook paper is a plane, and every one of these blue lines on this notebook paper are all parallel. They're never going to intersect. Okay? So that's parallel lines. The symbol we use for parallel lines, like say I want to label this line Q, T, and then I want to label this one R, S. I can say that line QT is parallel to line RS. That right there is a symbol of parallel. It looks like the number 11, but it's not 11, it's parallel. Try to make it taller than a number 11 so you can tell it's a parallel symbol. The other kind of lines we're going to talk about is perpendicular. This red line with the blue line are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines form a 90 degrees. These lines right here form 90 degrees. The symbol for perpendicular is this. You'll see this. So if I want to say line AB or line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment CD, then I would use that symbol right there. Okay? Um, the other thing we're going to talk about is midpoint. Let's say I have a line segment there, and then this line right here, I cut it in half. Okay, this dot right there, that forms the midpoint. The midpoint is the point, exactly like it says. It's the point that cuts the line segment in half. Then the other thing we're going to talk about is a bisector. A bisector is a line or array which cuts an angle in half or a line segment in half. Okay, this, like if I had an angle right here, and then this ray cut that angle in half, that ray right there is called the bisector. Okay, This line right here is also a bisector, but it's got a special name because this, is, this line segment is perpendicular to that line segment, so this one is a special bisector called a perpendicular, perpendicular bisector. We are actually about to do, we're going to do perpendicular bisectors and bisectors of angles with our compass. Okay? So we're going to learn how to use our compass to create a perpendicular bisector and then bi to bisect a line segment and then to bisect an angle. So if you look at 5B number 6, you're given a line segment of RS. And the instructions say use a straight edge and your compass to draw a perpendicular bisector. So um, here's how you use this. Take your compass and on your compass you have a point and then you have a pencil side. Okay? So you on your compass put your point on your end point of your line segment. The distance on your compass needs to be more than half of your line segment. Like, I can kind of gauge where halfway is on my line segment. It's probably somewhere here. So the distance of my compass needs to be larger than that. So I need to largen out the distance of my compass. Okay? So now I can see that my compass is now more than half of the distance, more than halfway. And that's what I want. So what you do is you put your point on the in one of your endpoints of your line segment and then you're going to draw an arc. Your arc needs to be large enough because they need to intersect, okay? Don't forget you can move your paper, sometimes it is hard to work with a compass. So draw an arc large enough to where it looks like a semicircle. Now you're going to do the same thing but put your point on the other endpoint. My point started on R. Now I'm going to flip my point and put it on S. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So with my point on S, now I need to draw a semicircle. I need to just draw it enough to where my arcs should intersect. 
Now where my arcs intersect, where this arc intersected right here, that's created a point at that intersection. I draw a point at that intersection. Then where these two arcs intersect, I've created a point. It only takes two points to make a line. Now I can use my straight edge. I'm using a protractor as my straight edge. And so I connect these two points together where my, that are intersecting my arc. And I draw a line. That line now has become my perpendicular bisector. See, I use my symbol for perpendicular, perpendicular bisector. This means that this line is perpendicular to my line segment and it has also bisected the line segment. So where my perpendicular bisector intersects my line segment RS, that point right there, that is my midpoint. That right, that right there is my midpoint of line segment RS. That right there is the midpoint of line segment RS. I can go and take a ruler and I could measure this, this half of the line segment and then this half of the line segment and they should be the same distance. All right, so every, let's jump down to 5B number seven. So the same thing, they want you to do the perpendicular bisector. So to do that, you use your compass, put your point, I'm gonna start with uh, end point F. I'm gonna start with F. So put, putting my point on F, I need to make sure that my compass distance is more than halfway of this line segment. So I need to make my compass distance larger. So I'm going to enlargen out my compass because it needs to be more than halfway. Okay, that looks like it's more than halfway. So starting my end point on F. Then I need to draw a semicircle like that. Okay, now once I've done that, then I take my point and flip it over to where now I'm on G. And so I do the same thing. Put my point on G and now I draw a semicircle. And the main thing is these two arcs that I'm drawing, they need to intersect. You need to draw them large enough to where they intersect each other because these intersections are the points you're creating to help draw the line for your perpendicular bisector. My pictures are overlapping and I apologize for that. So where these two arcs intersect, that's my point. Where these two, these two arcs intersect, that's my point there. Now I can use my straight edge to draw a line between those two points. And then this line right here is my perpendicular bisector of line segment FG. And so where this perpendicular bisect bisector intersects my line segment, that is my midpoint. That is the midpoint of line segment FG. So anytime you're doing a perpendicular bisector, your pictures should look like this. I should see two arcs that are intersecting and then a line drawn through your line segment.